Hi everyone, it's uh, Kev from Kev's Electrical Workshop. Yeah, I'll need a shave. Uh, I just spent the uh, whole of the morning at the uh, accident and emergency over this last incident, uh, which I will go into and uh, thought I would share what I feel. And it's all to do with batteries like I'm looking into this the 18650 I'm sure you've seen these they use them in uh, high powered torches uh, quite a lot of times in electronic cigarettes you know smaller versions uh, maybe lithium batteries like so this is for my quadcopter they're all the, all the same beastie I'm giving a bit of a warning uh, it may help save your life, uh, your loved one's life, your house, who knows. Uh, basically this actually happened. I've, I've watched uh, countless videos on um, trying to destroy these things but nothing prepared me to what happened on the 24th of October 2016 uh, which making this video it was yesterday. Uh, so I haven't had much sleep and yeah I have a a, a four-way charger which charges these and there was three already charged cells in there so it wasn't actually in a state of charging but it was switched on I well, mean wife and daughter was out and oh, well, I was upstairs I was actually uh, prepping uh, the previous video, I can't remember what it is now. <laughs> it's in, in, insignificant to what happened. And yeah, I was prepping it, you know, doing a bit of editing and things like that on the old PC. Then suddenly there was a pop and a big whoosh. And uh, from where I was sitting, I could see in the other room it just lit up. Uh, there were sparks flying, uh, you name it. Uh, I actually thought someone had thrown a, a rocket or something through the window because it's uh, getting close to November the 5th and you never know. So uh, I got up and ran to the scene. Uh, must have taken all of about six seconds. Uh, in that time, I entered basically a, a smoke filled room. Uh, there was the remains of a. Uh, one of these and it was glowing that color and getting cooler there was multiple little fires uh, there was loads of like copper type shrapnel on fire uh, the main thing that was quite frightening uh, is there was a big piece of copper on the on the uh, carpet which was a light and the flames were six to eight inches high bearing in mind this was six seconds uh, if I was downstairs, uh, not even in the house, or even asleep, how bad would this have been? Uh, yeah, I think you would have been talking fatal or total loss of house, to be honest. Uh, so I think one needs to treat these things with respect. I do have a bit of video of the aftermath. Please watch it. And uh, what I'm investing in now is uh, let me just reach over I already did have one is these things here there you can go on the eBay look up lipo uh, bag or something and these are flame retardant I don't know about explosion proof but basically they're for charging basically you put the whole charger or whatever in here while charging and if anything like this happens it's contained these are like I said flame retardant explosion proof or whatever obviously if it does go off in there there's going to be lots of smoke coming out but hopefully it will save your property or whatever and these on eBay these are under two quid these little ones you can get bigger ones there they're a couple of quid pay some money Put your charges in one of these whatever I've learned the hard way I've got probably a room to redecorate a new carpet to buy 
but I still have a lot a, a house and a life so I say <laughs> uh, yeah I was as, as I said at the uh, hospital for many hours uh, even had blood samples taken for carbon monoxide and all that you name it they don't rush themselves honest they don't uh, but yeah watch the video and yeah pick up one of those bags pick up a few of those bags I mean this also goes to probably charging mobile phones I've seen videos where you know pictures of when these go uh, they got the same batteries in there's no reason to th think that they won't uh, go like that and most of us let's face it we charge them at night by our bedside it's uh, it's quite scary and uh, yeah I just don't know what to say it's uh, an eye-opener for me and yeah spend a couple of quid get some lipo bags and hopefully if you watch this and get some lipo bags you'll save some money or well, hopefully you never have to hopefully it never happens to you but yeah if, if this saves one instance this video then this video has been worth it so get on an ebay look up those lipo bags like i said they are peanuts really they are you know they're like one pound sixty i think that's one pound sixty that that bag cost me about one pound sixty quite a while ago uh, but i have bought a lot more and I, I bought one which is the size of a lunchbox about this big and i think that was six quid and uh, where I can actually probably store all my batteries and the chargers and not worry. Uh, so yeah, watch the video. No, the first video is done on my phone. It's a bit ropey. Just shows you the aftermath. Uh, uh, then the next video is the uh, charger on the bench, and uh, you will see what type of mess that charger's in. Uh, I mean that that charger's toast now. That was thirty pounds worth of charger it's still rated as one of the best chargers you can get uh, but not anymore it's dead <laughs> so don't forget get on ebay get some get protected God, that sounds like a condom advert doesn't it okay many thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of these videos a bit scary really Okay, I've got the fire alarms out of control. I'm still, it's still a bit smoky. Don't know if you can see this. This was a perfectly white floor. It has covered. It, it was actually here when it went off. It's still hot. Here's the damage it's done to the charger. And I actually thought a firework had come through the window because the uh, place kind of lit up. This is the battery. There's uh, not much left of it. Most of it is spread around. As you can see, just panning around. Uh, it's just spread around about a six foot area. Uh, the battery is, it's actually cool. The reason why it's cool is because it's totally hollow. There is no longer any anything in it at all. Uh, it's a bit higher end. Uh, I'll take that down into the workshop in a minute. And, uh, I'm still shaking because uh, I was home alone when this went off and uh, uh, wow that's scary hi everyone right I'm back again in the workshop here is the Roman candle of an 18650 I must admit it I've never seen anything like it it's emptied its insides and I went up this was this was glowing red and yeah it's pretty much uh, damaged but 
of these two cells are obviously damaged. I can't even tell you if the charger's any good or not. But yeah, I honestly thought someone had thrown a firework in the window. Uh, just a case of lucky I was home and reacted quickly. <laughs> but my god. Wow. So there you go. If you use 18650s, make sure you uh, monitor them all the time. Is this battery? I don't know if you can see that. It, it's totally gone. I have no idea where the uh, top cap is unless it's embedded in there. So I can't see it. Wow. And it stinks. And I'm going to wash my hands, so it's making me feel ill. Okay, hope this is a warning for everyone. Uh, watch these things when you charge them. Okay, many thanks for watching.